Welcome back to another Code Recollection. Thought I would check in on the map real quick. Uh, we have notes such as enough pots to feed an army. And must have been lonely eating here alone. Let's see, anything on the... About the second floor. Secret room, fireplace. I still love, so this is what a rich girl's room looks like from earlier. Wait, if I press X, oh, interesting, you can toggle some stuff on and off. Didn't even see that until right now. <laughs> Whee! Uh, we have some sort of update to our DAS as well. The entry on our mom. Let's see. Old stuff. Uh, no, this description is the same. I thought it was at least going to mention the murder. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what that update was about. Pretty sure we already had this picture and everything. I, I distinctly remember reading out that description, like, last time. Oh, wait, there was one other thing I wanted to check. Don't mind me. Well, I guess two things. Number one. <laughs> First floor. This is where we are now, right? Double check that in a second, but I think there's a paper crane in here. Uh, the key that we're looking for is one more room south, though. <laughs> and yes, there has to be a paper crane in here because the DAS says so. So we're not leaving this crime scene until we find the paper crane responsible. Behind the plate. Uh, under the table. Could be sitting in one of these chairs. I don't think I looked at them too closely. Are sure it's not buried under this pile of ashes? Is there nothing I can do about this? I can look at the newspaper article and see if there's anything on the back. And the back side is... How did they manage to get it that pixely on the back side? Kinda looks like a giant nuclear explosion to me. Either that, or it's pixel art of a chef with a giant mixing bowl. And I'm not sure if anyone sees this but me. I can't zoom into the... Oh wait, yes I can. If I zoom into the object a little further, see the top white portion, I think, is like the chef hat. And then underneath that you have two eyes, and then like a mouth. And then... This part right here, you can see the person's, there's another dash of white. And it's like the person's arm, and that's them holding the thing to mix with. And then the giant slew of white underneath is the giant bowl that they are stirring. Yeah, otherwise my first thought is a mushroom cl cloud. <laughs> a house in a forest, okay. I mean, okay, I can kind of see that interpretation. The black on the sides would be the trees, and then through the trees you can see... Okay, because what I'm interpreting as the hairline, you're interpreting as the roof, and what I'm interpreting as the eyes, you're interpreting as the windows. So yeah, I kind of see it, and like, actually that might be the case. That might be the mansion that we're exploring right now. Like, yours is probably the more reasonable theory, but mine is more fun. <laughs> You see my chef, but do you sue my chef? That's what happens when you get Phoenix Wright in here. Because the chef is the alien with the weird foot who killed our mom. That's what you call a sous chef. 
The paper crane was in the tea set the whole time. That was actually well played, game. The canned goods life? Oh boy. What's our kooky dad gotten up to this time? Living on this island presents many challenges, not the least of which is keeping myself fed. I didn't used to be a piggy eater, but oh how that has changed. After years of subsisting on nothing but canned food and emergency rations, I've grown so tired of the same flavors day after day. It's becoming harder and harder to choke the food down. And then, like deus ex machina, I happened upon some fishing gear left in the kitchen. It looked like it had some life left in it yet, so I decided today was the day I catch my own food. But no matter how long I waited by the water, not a single bite. Nature is cruel and unforgiving in its lessons. So in the end, I carried my empty bucket back to the mansion and plated my usual canned meal of fish preserved in oil that smells like aluminum. I can't wait for the day I can laugh about these fishing mishaps with someone else. It's such thoughts that make me long for a table piled high with a home-cooked meal shared with Sayoko and Ashley. P.S. My three favorite canned meats are number three, corned beef, number two, chili beans, and number one, clam chowder. The chili beans have a really nice spice to them. Alrighty then, Dad. Uh, that takes me back to West Wing Hallway. We want to go one room down. What's this room? The lounge. It's where father used to drink. The next another key is in here. What? Something in this glass. Ooh, what a smell. Dad? I wonder if Dad likes stuff like this. The ashtray oh. is filthy. You have to wash them when you clean the cigarette butts out, you know. <gasps> oh. Hey, this newspaper is recent. And that's all she said about it. You're such a good detective, Ashley. Huh? This big sofa isn't dirty, unlike the other ones. Maybe this is where Dad did most of his living. Then he actually kept the place a little clean, except for the ashtray. Also, I believe there's another paper crane in here, according to the desk. I am keeping my eye out. Wow. That cushion looks soft. Seems like a comfy chair to sit in. <laughs> I'd love to sit in a chair like this with a nice cup of tea. Anything to say on the table? Eh? Comfortable chair. Candle holding business. Alright, let's head behind the bar. There's the thing. Off-putting radio. Ah, feels good to have 7, 8, and 9 after getting 10. I, I still find it really weird that you're required to go to the room with 10 in it first. And up to this point, you've been able to get them in numerical order. <laughs> 
Being alone is more than just being lonely. It's a chance to notice something new. If you close your eyes and listen on this abandoned island, it's not silence you'll hear. The island is overflowing with the melody of nature. The crashing of the waves, the rustling of the trees, the howling of the wind, the chirping of the birds, the sounds of nature harmonize into an entire symphony. Listening to it has become a joy. Speaking of music, go check out Azran127 on all music platforms. I'm reminded of the radio I found last night in the lounge. No matter which channel I change it to, it plays the same song. And when I try to adjust its tuning, it emits nothing but static. Faced with no other recourse, I turned it off before finishing a late dinner in the dining room. But the moment I stood to leave, the radio turned itself on and resumed playing that same song. It loved Azran's music just that much. I was so surprised, I dropped my plate. I bolted back to my room and leapt into my bed, where I spent the rest of the night hiding under the blankets. I didn't sleep a wink. As a man of science, I know I should seek a logical explanation for the phenomena beyond my understanding, and generally speaking, I should seek to be braver. But this was so off-putting that I simply can't bring myself to seek either. It's times like these where I could use some liquid courage. It looks like I may never get over certain fears, Sayoko. Yeah, I mean, it comes out the same either way. <laughs> I mean, if we were going by my actual birthday, it would be pronounced 12-7, which is, you know, it doesn't roll off the tongue quite as well, in my opinion. Amazing. Bottles. Are all these bottles alcohol? I mean, that's the idea. Hey, radio. There's static coming from the radio. Oh, it's the radio. It's not tuned to anything. No. I can... What's up? I can hear music mixed in with the static. Really? Huh. I can't hear it. I can. And I've heard this somewhere before. Was it at an ace stream? Can you help me hear it more clearly? Please? Maybe if I tune it... I wonder what this dial does. Guys, we gotta go to comms. The imposter has sabotaged it. The static's gone. I can hear the song better now. Hmm. I want to hear it a little better, though. Let's get it to a good spot. Hmm. Static's gone, but... Hey. Could try turning the other dial, too. This song. It's what we played on the piano earlier. I remember it now. Yeah, I told you it was an ace. The miracle of the blue moon. What? It's the title of the song. It was quite popular long before you were born. Oh. Father loved this song. Can I listen to it for a moment? Of course. Aw, it ended.
What the? It's in another key. Hidden in the radio? I'd never have imagined that. Well, I got key three faster than I thought I would. <laughs> All keys installed. That's the third one. So you found all three. I hope Dad will be happy. I'm sure he will be. Yeah, I'm always kind of worried about how happy he'll be, but we'll see. Let's take the keys to him. He said he'd be waiting in the foyer. For those who weren't here, my running theory is that Dad is not going to use these in a good way. <laughs> but that's only a theory. There's a lock on the door. Oh. Door open. Alright, I just want to check on this real quick. Right, two of them say they're underground, and we haven't found a way underground yet. Uh, this is on the second floor. That's on the second floor, but I know we haven't opened that door yet. I assume we're fine as far as cranes go. I wonder if Dad found Jessica. There he is. There he goes grabbing that wrist again. Dad! Did you find Jessica? No, not yet. Oh. More importantly, did you find the another keys? More importantly than the life of another person who you said was in danger, did you get the well mysterious technology thing? Sure did. Check it out. You found all three. Excellent work, Ashley. Now hand them over. Wait. The keys. Now. Hey, Dad? Again, this guy hasn't seen his daughter in like 18 years. I mean, not 18, sorry. Uh, 11, 11 years is what he said. Let's go look for Jessica first. We can go together. No, restarting another comes first. Give me the keys, Ashley. Uh, um, okay. If you say so, but I wanted to ask you a few things first. Things? What things? I was so young when you left. I can't even remember you. I know nothing about you, Dad. I just like to talk, you know, like we're a family. All right, but be quick. Oh, okay. What should I ask first? I and him looking that way is probably lending to my suspicion much. of him. Jessica, another, this weird old mansion, and... That newspaper article. Now we're gonna start with these two. Aren't you worried about Jessica? You said you'd go looking. I did. And I will find her. Once we finished activating another. Ugh. They're not making it very clear why that should come first. So we have the keys. But what is another anyway? You said another is something that might heal people? It is exactly that. And the secret of another is that it alters memories. That's how it can heal people by adjusting or removing painful memories. We could even cure PTSD. With this machine, we can read and write directly to the brain's neurology, like it's a hard drive. Um... 
Oh, it's a waste of time explaining something you can't understand. I don't understand the details, but it sounds amazing. Amazing? That's one word for it. So amazing that your mother dedicated her life to its research. Her life? She believed that another was... She believed it was worth protecting at all costs. From who? Come along, Ashman. I'll show you another. It's a grand piece of work left behind by Sayoko. I don't know if I want to see it. When I was hunting for the keys, I found this newspaper article. Article? What article? It says... Again, read the headline. Dad, it says you... What is it? It says you're a suspect in Mom's murder. Which, in his defense for a moment, that plain devil's advocate, you know, he was close to her, he lived with her, they did their research together, so like, yeah, he's naturally going to be a suspect, even if he's completely innocent of the murder. Oh. After nothing other than her extravagant recollection. And just where did you find that? It was in a wallet I found in the dining hall. I see. <sighs> It says you... The things in this article are just... Can you remember what happened that night? Sort of. I dream about it, but... Tell me about the dream. I'm three years old. I'm crying in a closet. And then someone says my name. Do you know who it is? No. That's always when the dream ends. <sighs> I wasn't the one who shot her. Oh. That's... good? That you didn't do it. I mean, it's just... I didn't know she'd been shot. <sighs> but why? And who? Her murderer was never found. <sighs> Was the murderer never found because you're lying about it? When all of this is over... Yes, what? When this is over, me and Jessica and you, we can go home. Together. Right? As long as we can complete another, yes. <sighs> what is it? I know another was an amazing achievement, and maybe it can help heal a lot of people, but... Another is the reason mom was killed, right? I guess that freaks me out a bit. I just want to live a normal life with you, dad. That's all. Well, actually, you're probably going to be very disappointed by the end of the game, but I don't know that for sure. <sighs> so let's go find Jessica and get off this island. All three of us. I think we need to prioritize finding Jessica over your experiments with another. Ooh, finally saying something for real. She might be in trouble. Please, Dad? No! What? Ashley? Completing another what's your mother's greatest wish. I can't leave this island without finishing our work. But, Dad... I must finish another. And Bass Ackwards is on fire with the <laughs> joke replies. Dad, forget about it! Another isn't as important to me as you! Please, just come home with me and Jessica!
That's enough out of you! <gasps> Why don't you listen to me? Well, gee. <laughs> I can think of a number of reasons why she would not listen to you. <laughs> Again, number one. For being her father, you weren't there for 11 years. <laughs> and then, when she says, let's care about human life instead of this technology thing for five seconds, you're like, no, absolutely not. I don't have anything else. Another is all I have left. Also, your daughter? <laughs> I predict gun time is going to be whenever Why Bill comes into the me? equation. Oh, it is gun time in the flashback. <sighs> I'm nothing to him. Is that it? Uh, yeah, Ashley, that might be the case. I'm sorry I yelled at you. No, you're not. But I need you to stop making more problems for me. Now, give me the another keys. He's not the reason Jessica went missing. Dad. Okay. Fine. I won't interrupt your time with another anymore. Hmm. Here they are. Can't do your important research without them. Dad? Hmm? I need to go prep another for boot up. Stay here until I'm done with it. Dad, he doesn't care about me or Jessica. He doesn't care at all. That man, he might be Richard Robbins, Jessica's brother, the person my mom married, but he's not my dad. Someone like that couldn't be. I don't want to be in this messed up place. I want to go home. I want to find Jessica and just go home. Hey, D, I... I remember father. <clears throat> he was killed in this mansion. For real? Yes. In the Silver Bird Room. Now D is for disappear. Now, for a chapter called Reunited with Dad, we sure ended up, uh, separate from him. <laughs> chapter 4, Dee's Memory. Yes, Mondo, you have pieced that together correctly. Where are you, D? I mean, he mentioned the what Silver Bird Room from his memory, so I'm kind of thinking he went there. He was killed in the Silver Bird Room. 
Thank you, Flashback, for Dee, doubling down on my point. What happened in the Silver Bird Room? I need to find D. In the Silver Bird Room? It's possible. And we go look for him on the next Another Code Recollection.